Alright, hello everyone, and today I will be discussing a quick little method on how to integrate the Argus Spotlight into your Syncom core and utilize it to do intersection sweeps. Something that I've had a couple questions about how I've done it on my truck, and I've seen quite a few people ask it, and quite a few people say that it's a lot of work when in fact it is pretty simple. So we are going to go into Syncom Core here, set up a control head. I've got a 21 inside control head. Argus, I've got the Pro Focus one, so we'll utilize that one, or we'll just make it simple and utilize the Spotlight. Actually, no, we're going to utilize Pro Focus. Continue. So first step is to set up two virtual inputs. So VI Argus Pan and VI Argus Tilt. So this is all you need. So the biggest thing to these is your switch type. So they are cycling and your times are going to be pretty short. These are all based upon how far they're going to go. So mine on my truck are set to 300 milliseconds for the pan and for the tilt, 200 milliseconds. So now we are going to go into Argus pan. Uh, this all depends upon where it's mounted on the vehicle. So I'm going to give it negative 25 degrees. That will be your left side. So we'll rename that left. Then we'll go to press 2. 25 degrees. That's our right side. And that is right. And then another thing you want to do is set up that it actually turns on the light and have it set for both. All right, so now we're in our tilt. This is your up and down motion. So press one is up, press two is down. So your tilt, again, depends on where it's on the vehicle, if it's mounted on the roof or on like a um, headache rack or a uh, truck rack or something, probably don't want to have a upward tilt because then it will just be saying hi to the planes in the sky. Don't want that. That's not going to provide any additional warning. So you might want to leave the up at zero. But if it's mounted in the typical spotlight position, you might want to give it a few degrees of up motion. And because this is a pro focus, you get a little bit more optic spread with that than versus a spotlight optic. So I'll give it 10 degrees of upward tilt. And again, we'll do the same here. Make sure that the lights are on, down. Again, depends on where your vehicle is. We'll give it negative 10 degrees of tilt downwards. And again, make sure that the lights are on. And that is basically it to how to set it up. So we'll assign it to switch now. So assign it to switch 15 inputs. Go into your virtual inputs. Set to left. Set to up. And this will start your virtual input cycling timer. And now a key to this is, let's go back into our virtual inputs. Just when it turns off, we'll go over into the Argus control head. Home set to on. Same with this one. Actually, we don't need it to do on this one. So you can select whichever you want. And then when VI Argus pan input is set to on, this will turn on your home button so that it will automatically go home to its home position. Or you could simply set it up and here, that when it's off, your pan and its tilt is at its home position, which would be 180, negative 90. You could do either or. I just like having set it to the button so that I, I automatically know I get visual feedback, button lights up so that I see that's returning to its home position. And that is basically it on how to set up an Argus to do intersection sweeps akin to a parts light. So I will be doing a couple more videos on some Wayland command programming for CENCOM core on some unique features I've done. Um, for those of you who aren't in the Wayland command group, uh, go take a check on it. It's on Facebook, a lot of good material there and a lot of good resources to use. 
and I hope you guys all enjoy this. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can, or find me on Facebook. Um, send me a message on there, or if you're in the command chat, just post it in there. So anyways, thank you all for watching, and I will have a couple more videos like this out to you guys shortly. Thank you.